Hi, I'm Naomi with the Naomi Butler Show, and I'm going to show you today some close-ups of Energy 1 and Energy 2. And right now, you're seeing where the two paintings come together. And I think I kind of tweaked that after that last painting video, but as you can tell, not all the colors necessarily match up in the different areas. Of course, I tried to make some areas come together, but this is from the top slowly to the bottom of where these two paintings meet. And here is an area that you see there's a little difference, but that's okay. You saw some of the areas that came together up there. And then as it goes down further, some of those grayed areas are matched up. So I'm going to take the left one here and I signed both of them in the far right bottom area. But you're going to see lots of depth with marks, different colors, and I'm not going to go too fast because I want you to just see all the depth in the different colors. Some of the colors are mixed before they were put on the canvas. Some were mixed on the canvas. And I'm gonna try to just, again, not make you dizzy, but show you all the different parts to this. And you see there's different elements. And that was where I had one of those scraper tools and it creates depth and even this, you can't, it's just a small area, but it has a lot of texture in some of these areas that you can only really see up close. So I'm kind of showing you some up close and you see a lot of the texture here and colors, just an abundant array of different colors that <clears throat> more and more layers created the depth and the composition. And you see how even in that white area here, it looks crackled. So when I varnish this, that will look and stay crackled because I'm not going to peel it off. Of course, <clears throat> isn't that a cool color? right there and it's just a small area that's probably a two inch area but it's just so pretty and you see some marks I made along the way and other marks just with paint other marks with the back of my brush with a scraper with pencil I mean there's a lot of pencil marks in there and so these two paintings have, there's some more of that crackle look and you know, there's just, it's just unknown what it will look like when you're done. I'm gonna get up and show you more of this as we go across. And of course you see a lot of the pencil marks A lot of the depth of color and more little bitty marks there, big marks, and a whole lot of cross marks there. So it has just so much depth, so many marks, so many colors, and there is, I'm on the next one now. I've gone to the right one and it has some of that crackle look as well. It could be that it was just a lot of different paints. I uh, probably had some mixture of some medium, matte medium mixed in at some point or it just happened. I have a huge painting I sold years ago that had a lot of different crackle and different marks. So as you can tell, both paintings 
have a lot of different colors. And this one, this area here has a lot of the white that just kind of scraped over. And then down here, you're gonna see how I kind of went in with probably the pencil and then it still made the crackle look. So that's not something you see unless you're close up. This is real close up. And if you like a painting that has a lot of texture, a lot of colors, a lot of energy flowing through it, then these two paintings are something to think about. I still have to paint the sides and do all of the, the stuff on the back. I sign the back and do the hardware, the hanging hardware. And of course, this is going to the right side where I signed my name down here on the right side of this one as well. And going up, that right there, isn't that just a pretty area? It, it's just got lots of gorgeous colors that were even mixed. This salmon color that you see turned out so pretty. And you're just seeing a close-up of some of the areas in these paintings. So. I'm gonna kind of finish up here. Again, I don't want to make you dizzy, but I hope you've enjoyed seeing the close-up of these two, seeing the depth, and I'm gonna come back now and show you the full painting if I can, but then I'm backed up to my table and that's really one of the paintings right there and going to the left that's where they meet continuing on to the left you see the other painting so I hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna go back to the middle where they meet and that makes them a pair if somebody wants to buy them as a pair. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.